This is a painting that has fascinated me for quite some time. I first came across it on a Pinterest board and immediately saved it off as something that would be really good inspiration for a historical costume. It's clearly 18th century, but it doesn't exactly look like normal 18th century dress. And when I first looked at it, I thought it was interesting, but I didn't really exactly know why that was. Upon doing some further research, I found out that it's because this dress is a masquerade dress. And you can tell that because in the lady's hand, she's holding a black mask. Masquerades were basically kind of like parties where you would be able to dress up in costume and kind of be released a little bit from your normal role in society. And so usually you can identify a masquerade dress as having the general silhouette of the time period that it is from, but then having little details and things that make it not quite right. So as we do our deep dive today, I'll be pointing out some of those little details that make this a masquerade dress. This portrait, I tracked down to the Christie's auction site, which I believe is where that initial picture that I had found on Pinterest came from. And so the details that they provide about the portrait are that it was painted by Thomas Gibson and the sitter for the portrait was a Mrs. William Townsend. Um, they don't give an exact date for when, um, when this was painted, but if we look at um, the little bit of information that they do provide here, um, it says that you know she was the only daughter and heir of Lord William Powlett, and she married the honorary William Townsend. And she wed him on May 29th, 1725. We don't know how old she was when she wed him, but like, let's just say maybe she was 20. Um, we don't know exactly how old she was in this portrait, but she looks pretty young to me, like, maybe 16 or 18 so if she was 20 years old in 1725 you know basically we can we can put this early 1700s is kind of the closest that I can reckon for when this may have been painted okay so all of that kind of history aside um, let's kind of dive in and look at the details of this in terms of if we are going to use it for costume inspiration. So starting at the top of the portrait and going down, um, of course it's getting a little bit uh, pixelated here. The image quality is not the greatest, but you can see that she has what looks to be probably like a little three uh, corner hat perched on top of her head with either like spangles or jewels or maybe pearls of some kind lining the end um, and then she's got a cluster of um, little red I don't know if these would be like little red bows tied of ribbon or maybe they might be um, some type of red flower but it looks like they also then have jewels affixed to the top of them and then she's got a little feather plume going on on the top of her hat as well. Moving down, you can see she's holding her black mask, which again, that's how we know that this is in fact a masquerade dress. And then you can see that the silhouette, the shape of her bodice follows the shape of the early 18th century, right? It's that nice conical bodice shape and relatively longer in the waist as you would have with that wide open neckline with the little white ruffle 
um, or that might possibly be like the her her chemise showing above the top as well um, but what you'll notice about her jacket here is that it kind of almost comes close to looking like an Elizabethan doublet. It's got like the kind of flares at the shoulders. It seems to be lined on all the seam lines in the same spangles or jewels that her hat is lined in. And then down the center, um, she's got, it kind of looks like a, like a military-esque motif. And then again, like her, her, um, the bottom part of her jacket to me really resembles that of an Elizabethan doublet with like the big broad, um, tails on it. It also looks like she's got some type of ribbon coming down the back that is red, um, with black on either side. And I don't know. I think it's probably trailing down from the back of her hat, if I had to guess, because it just doesn't seem like if it was a ribbon coming from her dress, I would kind of think it might be draped like across the front as well. Um, and it's a bit thin to be uh, like a um, like the back of her gown that would be draping back. So I think that's coming down from. Her, the back of her hat. She's got these cute little red bows uh, accenting on her wrist um, and also a little white uh, lace ruffle peeking out too. Then her skirt is really interesting for the time period that it's painted in because it looks like it's round. It doesn't look to be fuller at the sides. It's a little bit hard to tell from this perspective, but you know, it looks like it comes out decently in the front and the sides. And so we can kind of assume that it also goes out the back similarly. It looks to be made of a similar fabric to her little doublet jacket. Um, whether that would be I don't know, the jacket looks like it's definitely velvet to me, it just looks like it has some weight to it, but the the skirt could either be velvet or it might be like a black um, silk uh, taffeta. And then it's got these really interesting red uh, puffs on it, which again, these are bringing to mind like the slashes that were done in a lot of Elizabethan uh, clothing, where the front most layer of fabric had like a slit cut in it and then you would have worn something underneath and kind of pulled up the fabric through and like you can see you know it gets narrower in certain places where the over uh, over fabric is still attached and then with like the red puff being brought up through. Now if I was going to make this as a costume, I would probably do a solid black skirt and then make the red puffs and stitch them down to the top instead. I think that would be a lot easier to control and, and easier to get like the proper amount of puffiness going on. But I would do that in, you know, a, a, either like a red, I don't know, maybe like a red cotton voile. No, it doesn't really look like cotton. It looks, it looks like it's probably a red silk taffeta as well. That is it. This is one that I would love to one day make an outfit from this artwork. I just think that her dress is really unique and beautiful. In the meantime, before I get to that, if any of you happen to use this as inspiration for a project, I would love to see what you come up with. Um, so be sure to comment on this video. You can find me on Instagram. Um, and uh, if you're posting anywhere, you can use the hashtag art as inspiration.